Okay, so I usually don't do videos like this. I usually talk about console fanboys and the whole PC versus console thing. But while scrolling through Twitter and looking for content the, the other day, day, I stumbled across this thread and I couldn't help but make a video about it because it's funny and it's about video games and fanboys and it's a Twitter thread, so frick it, it falls in line with my normal content well enough. So it started when someone known as Danchi posted a Halo clip that got a frankly stupid 2.7 million views. The caption for this clip reads, about to hit a nasty kill truck to win the game, then boom, 343, why you always gotta give bad kids an easy way to kill good players? And the clip that they attached went a little something like this. Double kill. Triple kill. Overkill. Killing spree. Counter snipe. Kill. Now, I stopped playing Halo a long time ago. I never really got into the 343 games, but I know enough about Halo and about PvP shooters in general to know that bro just got absolutely trashed, and this is 100% a skill issue. And by the way, when you get 2.7 million views, but this is the best ratio you can manage, the engagement might not be the kind that you intended, my little green friend. And obviously this goes without saying, but I don't condone any harassment of this guy, don't go seek him out to dogpile him, but gosh dang it, I couldn't help but document the hole he dug for himself, because wow, fake esports kids are some of the best entertainment on the internet, and stuff like this doesn't come along as often as it once did. So what am I talking about? Well, let's take another look at this clip where he dies. What are you aiming at right here? Why did you just fall asleep while making eye contact with this dude? Could it be that when you're not pre-aiming spawns, you don't actually have very good game sense? Could it be that maybe you just had a little brain fart and this guy killed you? Which is totally fair, by the way, that happens to the best of us. But remember what he said when he posted this clip of him getting completely dookied on by a random person. 343, why you always gotta give bad kids an easy way to kill good players clown emoji. Now, why am I making a video about a salty Halo player? Why am I making a video about someone's shitty gameplay? Well, dear viewer, because after this clip started going a bit viral, Danchi started trying to defend himself. And wow, I think we found the saltiest Halo player to ever live. So come along with me as we watch a Halo montage freak try to blame 343 for the fact that he got dookied on. Pibby responds to the clip and says, failed to manage the map assets, skill issue. Danchi responds, laughing crying emoji, okay buddy. Bro, over 44,000 people saw this response and only two people liked it. Holy shit. But also, Halo is a game of map assets, weapon pickups, positioning, fucking stage hazards, whatever you want to call them. You gotta be aware of this stuff. I don't even play Halo anymore and I know that. If you think it's a point of comedy and instant dismissal, when someone says you need to manage map assets in Halo, I think you might just not actually be that good at Halo. Stay mad, moving on. Hey, hello, cool announcement incoming. So earlier this year, I was given the opportunity to play test a new indie game called Quad Battle, and if you exist between April 3rd and April 7th, you'll be able to try it too for free. The free demo on Steam is available from April 3rd to April 7th, and I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really cool game. It's a 4v4v4v4 party game that's kind of like an auto battler mixed with Monopoly, but also the game board kind of looks like Trouble, if any of you guys ever used to play Trouble as a kid. The game is still in development, obviously, and it's been in development for about a year now, so there's going to be some rough patches. Gameplay and visuals are not final, but you know, take this as a Joe from Seattle endorsement that the gameplay itself is very fun, and I recommend checking it out during the playtest. And you know, give the developers a follow on social so you can keep up on development and see when things are going to be improved. Because if this is where we're starting and like it's all uphill from here, the opposite of the Newfound Glory song, then this game's gonna be awesome when it's finished. And the devs are really cool people, so if you have some free time from April 3rd to April 7th, head over to Steam. Team, try the free demo and keep an eye on it. Wishlist it. And thank you to Nyota for giving me the opportunity to play test and to promote. I, I love I love being able to hype new indie games like this. So if you're watching this between the 3rd and 7th of April, go ahead and give the quad battle play test a go. And now back to your regularly scheduled nonsense. Solo Business says, get out play. Don't blame the three to 15 player for killing you. Throw a drop screen, repulse it, do anything, but cry on Twitter over a mid clip like a truck is anything special in this game. To me, this looks like a throwaway clip on kids who are gold or worse. Danchi responds, I'd do the same thing to you, bud. 
<laughs> when in doubt, resort to playground insults. That always works. You made a post of you getting dookied on, and then you blamed 343 for it, and then this dude points out that you just got outplayed, and you respond with the equivalent of threatening to beat him up at recess. <laughs> Top 10 ways to literally never get better at Halo. <laughs> Stu responds, brother, you had five seconds to throw the drop shield or shoot the coil in his hand. Danchi responds, I put it in slow motion. I would have had to react instantly. I guess I could have thrown a drop shield. I was too in the moment, didn't realize I had it. Hmm, interesting point. So you would have had to react instantly in order to counter this guy and you even put the clip in slow motion. Wow, okay. So uh, let's look at this again. Let's look at the clip in real time. And now let's put it in slow motion like you did. Um... Yeah, I don't think you needed an instant reaction here. It seems to me like you had several opportunities to not die, but whatever you say, let's move on. Whiskey says, sometimes you just get Delta checkmate, but you still could have thrown a drop wall for a boom block. You could even catch it, even though it hardly works, IMO. Danchi says, yeah, I was too in the moment and wanted to quick scope dude for the truck. I def should have thrown a drop shield. So, skill issue, you agree that skill issue but alas the video keeps going and jamie responds to in the moment so you weren't prepared for anything other than a duck <laughs> alex says i started playing again recently only to be constantly killed by those things and i figured it was the new meta and i uninstalled again and then danji responds yeah some kids are terrible at the game and have to do trolley shit for kills that dude was running around all game throwing coils because he couldn't snipe for shit the same type of person who hops in the wasp and btb and thinks they're good holy shit learn to fucking spell i swear to god get off halo and get on fucking mavis beacon teaches typing or shit even spongebob typing which i had as a kid by the way that shit slapped but also you walked in front of this guy and stared longingly into his eyes for a bit, and then you got blasted across space and time. That qualifies as trolly shit to you? No, you just got trashed. That's not trolly, you're just bad. Again, four and a half thousand people saw this post, and one singular person agrees with you. I think you might be in the wrong here. Nifty Noob says, just pick up the coil, nuclear football him. Danchi says, if he wasn't two feet away from me, I would have. Ah, yes, he was two feet away from you. Two feet away from you, he was. Look at him. Look how many feet there are between you and him. It's only two. Also, you killed several other people in this clip who were on screen for less time and were closer to you than this guy was. So, this isn't really a good excuse. It's almost like this is a skill issue. Willforge responds, a good player would have caught it and thrown it back. Just hold X. You're a good marksman, but you got to round out that skill set. And Lieutenant Cameron says, TBH, this looks like a new player lobby. Second player legit had nine kills while he's out there with 24. But then Danchi comes in, yeah, bro, I'm good with the sniper. Not my fault. This was in Lone Wolves. Lieutenant Cameron says, yeah, in a clear bot lobby where the second place person has nine kills. You got outplayed. It's simple. Danchi says, I can't control what players Halo gives me, dog. Lieutenant Cameron says, that's not what I mean. You died because you got outplayed and blamed 343. Danchi says, yeah, I don't like 343. Is that a big deal? Holy hell, how do you not get this? How do you not get this? Do you see now why I made this video? Like, like, do you see why I couldn't resist this? Fake esports kids are the fucking best. One second you'll be like, yeah, man, it was a skill issue. I was just too in the moment. And then the next second you'll be like, man, I hate 343. It's their fault. <laughs> like, bro, you literally cannot hold these two opinions at the same time in this context. You can hate 343, by all means. And you can be salty, by all means. But you got out fucking played here. And these two lads in this thread are literally spelling out to you why this happened, very politely, I might add. And the only thing you're taking away from this is, I can't control the players I play with, and I don't like 343. Like, this game could have been made by anyone, and you still would have gotten clapped in this situation. You could have been playing with the fucking egg whisk, and you still would have died here. I don't know why you died here, you know? You had a decent clip up to this point. I don't know why your brain just turned off when Mr. Fist fuck came around the corner and reminded you of your place in the world, but that's what happened. End of story. It had nothing to do with 343. It had nothing to do with who was in the lobby. It had everything to do with the fact that you goofed it straight up the flagpole. And we're not even done with this video. You look says you mad about a fusion coil, bro. Danchi says not mad, just annoyed. So mad.
Thanks for clearing that up. Archangel says, I mean, I get it, bro. I think you looked a little too greedy for that kill atrocity going for the quick scope. And even though you had a drop shield, it would have been too slow to deploy. Danji says, exactly. I was doomed no matter what I did. And I didn't even see the dude at first. I would have had to have insane reaction time to catch it. I was just annoyed at the time. Didn't know the trolls were going to go so hard on Twitter. I love this. I would have had to have insane reaction time. Okay, cool. So skill issue. You agree. But also you say you were doomed no matter what even though you've literally acknowledged several times in this thread that you had a number of options in order to not die. But also, I love this part, apparently the trolls were just going super hard on Twitter. That's right guys, it's all the trolls fault. You weren't getting roasted across the internet because you blamed 343 for the fact that you decided to cosplay as a bad Halo player. No, it's the Twitter trolls. It's the Twitter trolls fault that you made an absolute goof canoe of yourself. That's how it, that, that's how this went down. Yes, absolutely. One more. An immortal kid says, what you aiming at here, bro? You're seeing them on the right. Danchi says, I didn't see him. 12,000 views, not a single like. You couldn't even get a fucking porn bot to like this. And the saddest part is that you didn't even get paid for making an absolute ass of yourself. It'd be one thing if you were engagement farming to get an easy Twitter paycheck, but like, you're not even doing that. You're just that salty. And it's incredible. God, it's been a hot minute since I saw a good old fashioned mad cause bad situation that was this intense. But it was a nice refresher. You know, sometimes we gotta take a, sometimes we gotta take a little break from the console war Twitter videos and just kick back with the Twitter equivalent of Xbox 360 voice chat. So be sure to play better in your PVP games and learn how to take criticism and accept when your brain made a shit. And for the love of God, stop blaming developers for your own mistakes because holy shit, that never stops being the dumbest thing imaginable. Okay, toodles.